Have you ever wondered how to create realistic smoke in Blender? Well you're in luck, because today we're going to show you how to do just that. First, let's create a simple cube that will serve as an emitter for our smoke. You can do this by pressing Shift A and selecting Mesh Cube. With the cube selected, go to the object drop down and click Quick Smoke. This way it's better to start learning with because you have a guaranteed baseline that is working. Here you can adjust the settings for the smoke simulation in the physics tab. Here you can adjust the domain size, the resolution and the strength of the smoke. Now we have two areas of adjustment, the emitter and the domain that it resides, like its prison house. With the smoke flow object selected, go to the physics properties tab and adjust the settings to control the strength and direction of the smoke. This is our second area of control for the smoke. Once you have these two areas set up the way you need, I find I need to then set up the shader in the domain here. You need to adjust the density here sometimes. So you now have these three areas of control. Spend some time, adjust some settings and get used to everything. If you want to go crazy, you can click force fills and add some wind. But for now, just stick to these three areas. It's easy. It's just slow going on the computer, so hang in there. Knock the resolution down on the domain until you can function and then add adaptive domain to save getting bogged. Things to remember, cache your animation. If you're on the replay feature, Start playing, let it play all the way through all the frames and then render it. You should be able to pan through your timeline and see the actual smoke if it's cached. Otherwise, use the traditional method. And now, the moment of truth. Press the play button to see your smoke simulation in action. Now once you learn this way with the quick smoke, you can start to reverse engineer it to be able to manually build your own domains and emitters and add more emitters, etc. Render it out and there you have it. A realistic smoke simulation created right here in Blender. So get creative and see what other amazing effects you can create. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and tips like this one. Bye bye.